What's up, people? This is first thing in the morning. Just made my cup of coffee. That's nice and hot. Um, I'm all decked out in my camo gear. I just got back from my neighbor's property. I uh, woke up to a text uh, last night at midnight. The neighbor texted me. He doesn't live here. He lives somewhere else but bought the property to hunt. And uh, I always told him if he needs anything, just shoot me a text or something. And last night around midnight, he texted, which I was asleep, woke up, saw the text. Somebody was on his property again. Uh, he can see headlights and stuff on his trail camera. Uh, he has it set up on the deer feeders. Uh, the, the picture you can clearly see a couple of bucks and a couple of does out there lit up. It looks like my headlights. And uh, so I told him I'd go over there and check everything out. Uh, I thought I'd go back again tonight just to, or keep an eye out tonight. But he literally just put up a fence in the front, has the gate locked and everything, has all these trespassing signs out because he was having issues with people going out there riding four wheelers and whatnot. They would go out there in, at, in the middle of the night riding around. So uh, they couldn't be up to too much good. And uh, the sad thing was, which he called me about, he's like, you're going to get a kick out of this. Uh, he called me one morning and said, Hey, uh, he had some workers out there putting up the fence in the front and, uh, a white truck pulls up and this guy was like, why are y'all fencing this off? And they're like, Oh, well, the owner is paying us to fence it off. And he's like, well, my kids ride four wheelers out here. And, uh, that the guy started copping an attitude with the fence workers. I was like the audacity of somebody out here getting pissed off that a, landowner is fencing off his property because he doesn't want people trespassing and then that person that's telling his kids to that it's okay to ride on somebody else's property that he's pissed off about it like what kind of mindset is that i don't understand it um i don't know if what the person was doing last night if it was the same people or not but my concern the reason i'm bringing this up in a video is uh there's really not much more access to our neighbor's property because the other side of his is fenced off. The back side is fenced as well. Um, the only part that's not is the part that divides our property and his. Uh, so I don't know if, which I need to go to the back of the property and check it out a little bit later, uh, check for tire marks and stuff. But that's the only way that I can think. I called Jason a little bit earlier and he said the same thing. He's like, I wonder if they're coming through the back side of ours to get over there. So that's something uh, we're going to have to nipping the butt here real 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 soon um get the the trail cameras up back there and then uh just keep an eye out uh, a lot of times i stay up late at night so i might as well just try to maybe post up out there one night and see if i can catch somebody but i told the neighbor i said i don't have any issue we got weapons out here I said i don't have any issue if i see headlights to jump on the four-wheeler and go confront them um obviously i would text him to see if it's him first but uh, I don't know. You got to have each other's back out here. You're out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, that's why we wanted to meet all of our neighbors. We're good with all of our neighbors. I have, uh, basically everybody's phone number out here, except for uh, just one guy up the street. But, uh, other than that, it's just, I don't know. It just really drives me nuts. Like that somebody would have that kind of attitude to get pissed off that they can't ride on somebody else's property. Now it is hunting season. Ooh, I just got a little chill. Um, it is hunting season, so it could be people just wanting to go out and just kill an animal on somebody else's property. They may shoot something and leave it. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the neighbor sent me the photos from his trail cameras, and one of them had a bunch of big pigs, just wild pigs, uh, which we haven't seen on our property yet, but we are also not out at night a lot throughout the property. But um, there was a lot of pigs. Some of them were pretty big. And uh, a lot of uh, deer and a couple of big bucks. So there is a lot of uh, incentive for people to come out this direction. Um, I know a lot of people have like the, the small town mentality or like the old man mentality where they've been doing something for so long that maybe they just don't think twice about uh, going inside somebody's property. But now that these properties out here are getting bought up by everybody and everybody's fencing off their properties, putting up no trespassing signs. Um, I think those people, they need to change their mentality as far as how they think and uh, wanting to just go on somebody's property. To me, if I see a, 
a gate or a property that I know is not mine, I'm not gonna be like, hmm, I'm gonna go over there and just go hang out. I just don't see like I don't I don't understand people and uh, this is probably the third time now that he's uh let me know that he's seen people on his property and it's just he lives so far away from his that I I told him I'd help just try to keep an eye on things and if I see stuff I'll let him know but um anyways I'm not clickbaiting it if I say that there's trespassers or anything out there um I already know people will say put up trail cameras and all that stuff it is what it is uh here in a second Jason and I are gonna go uh, I think to Oklahoma City I don't think I've ever been to Oklahoma City we're gonna pick up the rest of the uh oh I hear Jason driving by I think he's gonna go feed the animals yeah but uh we're gonna go to o Oklahoma City to go pick up the rest of the uh corner post that uh y'all saw on the Crocker life we had some guy weld us up some uh, fence panels and they're big, they're heavy, and uh, now that we have the bigger trailer, it make things a little bit easier. We can pick up more materials as well. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to lock the dogs up here in a second because we're going to be leaving, but i got to finish up this coffee. It is a chilly one today. I think it was... Uh, let me check the thermometer real quick. Hold on. Oh. All right. So, I don't have it. I don't have any heater in here. I didn't buy one yet, which I'm probably going to, but outdoors, it is 32 degrees, it's 8.35 in the morning, and it says it's 50 in here, so that does show that the insulation is working in here. Um, I do have all the windows and everything closed. I just, uh, actually, I just uncovered the birds over here. Um, it is supposed to heat up a little bit. I think it's supposed to be in the mid-50s today. And then uh, it's supposed to start warming up later this week. But last night was pretty cold. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that. Like the insulation stuff does work. Like at an 18 degree difference. So that's pretty good. Especially without me having any heat in here. So once I officially get the mini split in here. I'm not going to be worried at all about it. <laughs> Tucker's just staring at me. But yeah. Anyways that's what our day's going to be. I'm going to try to finish up. What I'm working on over here in the kitchen, man, I'm all gassy. Oh my gosh. Oh, ugh. I only got through this much coffee so far. Um, but once I get back, because this trip's going to take us probably damn near half the day to go to Oklahoma City and back. Uh, we're probably looking at a almost four hour round trip. Uh, when we get back, I'm going to see if Jace can help me uh, install these cabinets that I bought, which I'll put on the video, and then I'll try to get that video out tomorrow for you guys. So, anyways, that's what my day's going to be. Uh, stuff happens out here in the middle of nowhere. You get trespassers, and now it's hunting season once again. People like to wander off on other people's property and try to get that big buck. So, I'll be a uh, vigilant out here. We'll have our cameras up. I'll Jason will do the same. We keep weapons on us at all times. And uh, we'll make sure that our neighbors are safe, too. So, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to try to warm up a little bit. We're going to go pick up this fence and have a good day. So, peace. Bye, people. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.